Well, hello. I believe today you've been uh, debating the developments of the cannabis debate in the Netherlands and in the world. And together with my colleagues from the Global Commission on Drug Policy, we obviously support that strongly. Uh, by debating, you can change the taboo and you can start changing things for the better. Well, how? Um, I will show you in this short film. Pot, hash, weed. In the 60s, a symbol of love, peace and freedom, but also vilified and illegal. Fortunately, times changed. The sale of cannabis is now tolerated in the Netherlands, although not its cultivation. That puts the retailers, so-called coffee shops, in a dilemma. They can sell the product openly, but to acquire their supplies, they still have to operate illegally. Coffee shops are places where users can buy and smoke cannabis safely. Where they can find information about its risks and which keep the trade off the streets. However, the illegal supply side leaves the retailers, the police and the authorities performing a delicate balancing act, teetering between compliance with the law and the practicalities of the situation. The only people comfortable on this tightrope are the shady characters making big money. Trying to enforce the current policy is as impossible as it is expensive, and it is undermining the credibility of the legal establishment. Dutch courts regularly dismiss prosecutions of coffee shops. Meanwhile, however many cannabis farms are shut down, its illegal cultivation continues unabated. Not a gram less reaches the market. For decades, the Netherlands was a pioneer, but we have never managed to translate that position into a clear set of rules. Elsewhere in the world, in places like the United States, Spain, Portugal and Uruguay, huge progress is now being made on policies that apply to everyone. The Netherlands has the so-called front door, the retail side, reasonably in order. Where it is failing is in the organization and regulation of the back door, the supply side. What this country needs is a controllable and transparent cannabis supply chain. That could be organized as follows. The transparent chain begins with the grower. He needs a license to produce cannabis. The government checks the crop just as it monitors foodstuffs and other consumer products ensuring that it meets set quality. Registered growers supply coffee shops directly. These transactions are open and invoiced in the normal way so that the tax authorities are fully aware of them. The coffee shop's business is transparent too. They can only buy from registered growers and they keep detailed records of their stocks so that it is always clear how much they have and where it is. Drug treatment services observe the process from the sidelines and the tax authorities monitor everything. Coffee shop personnel receive special training. Naturally, the shops themselves remain off limits to the under 18s and both owners and staff must have a clean police record. This is the basic framework of the transparent chain approach, a structure which leaves local authorities with plenty of scope to tailor the situation in their own areas to the particular circumstances there. If the Netherlands organizes the cannabis supply chain properly and transparently, users can keep on using safely, the streets will remain free of dealers, and illegal growers can finally be tackled once and for all. Moreover, a transparent chain will generate hundreds of millions of euros in taxes and benefit public health. It will take courage to open up and professionalize the cultivation of and the trade in cannabis, a courage which is currently lacking. Instead, recent government policy is being characterized by the politics of symbolism. For example, the introduction, briefly, of the so-called weed pass to make coffee shops members only clubs, which prompted huge numbers of users to turn to the illegal market. Such diversionary tactics will not solve the problem of the back door. Things have to change. The Netherlands is crying out for a safe, reliable and transparent system of cannabis distribution, 
free of grey areas in which crime can flourish. The transparent chain is the answer. Well, my name is Richard Branson, and I'd like to say I endorse this message.